Welcome to the Middletown Community United Methodist Church. And this, the 16th of February, it is two days after St. Valentine's Day, so we will continue with love as our theme. However, um, there are some announcements that I would like to begin with. One is March. It will be Women's History Month. As we have highlighted this month as Black History Month um, through the United Methodist Church system, understanding the importance of African American people in our country and the gifts that they've given to our country, next month the United Methodist Church highlights women as Women's History Month. That begins March 2nd. March 5th is the Transfiguration of the Lord Sunday. We will have Ash Wednesday services here on March 7th. Also, March 9th is World Day of Prayer. Uh, Daylight Savings Time uh, takes place on March 9th. I may have these days slightly off. And then one great hour of sharing is March 30th. Melanie Smith is going to share with us about our hearts. The heart transmits its own electromagnetic field a thousand times more powerful than that of the brain. The heart not only receives information from the brain, it is now known to influence the brain. It sends information to the brain via the vagus nerve and influences the brain with neurotransmitters and pressure waves. And the heart has its own brain of some 40,000 neurons that can learn, remember, and sense. The heart generates its own hormones and releases them into the body, including oxytocin, the cuddle chemical. Body hormone released in nursing mothers that leaves a lifelong imprint in only a few seconds. The heart brain also secretes its own dopamine, a component in the pleasure circuits. The heart patterns generally by compassion are distinctly different from the meditative states, states of mind created by caring for others rather than accessing inner peace for self actually have greater positive effects on the immune system and the autonomic nervous system. Positive feelings create orderly coherent and frequency <laughs> coherent frequency patterns in the heart's electromagnetic field signal. This coherency affects the brain EM rhythms and brings the whole body into harmony. And one person's happy, coherent heart frequency can affect another person's brain patterns reflected in the EEG. Indications are that the heart field is a non-local field that transcends time and space. It's our theory that the heart is a major conduit through which spirit enters the human system. One thing is for sure, when you make your own paradigm shift from head to heart, life becomes a lot more fun. Heart focus, gratitude exercise. So when you feel stressed or your heart feels shut down, acknowledge your feelings to yourself. Then put your hand over your heart and pretend you are breathing in and out of your heart. Breathe slowly and gently until your breathing feels smooth and balanced, bringing coherence to your whole body and mind. Remember someone for whom you feel deeply grateful. Allow the feelings of gratitude and love to fill your heart and your spirit. Affirm with a heartfelt commitment that you want to maintain the state of peace as you re-engage in your life. And she writes, so from my heart to your heart, love, Becky Reese. Becky got that study, uh, and it's on our Facebook or my Facebook page. From it's a scientific study that was uh, created to find out the electromagnetic parts of the heart. So all of that is scientifically based. And I ask you all to put one or both hands over your heart. Breathe in to your heart. Breathe in to your heart. Opening your heart. 
breathing in the love of God into your heart, the love of the world into your heart, giving thanks. Amen.